Hi everyone, Brett back out to scale modeling another spur review. This time from Kinetic, one of the Kinetic Gold line I58 Picara, 148 scale, decals by Cartograph, designed by Two Bobs. Beautiful, interesting looking aircraft. Here are some real pictures for your detailing. Here are some of the features of the kit detailed cockpit. Uh, detailed MLG and NLG bay, bulge tires, new engraving technology, including tear rack and mirror rack. A little bit about the aircraft, if you want to pause it and read it. This side, two schemes, Argentina, Ur Uruguay, sorry, <laughs> reading it upside down. Alright, not open, looked at, I just got this in, been waiting for it for quite a while. So now I can happily show it off. Kinetic has had some nice, good, interesting kits lately. The Harrier, the F-104s. I think there's some F-18s in there. Good stuff. Something that I haven't seen before. Like this one. So, the box open. All right, we got clear. One, two, three, four, five. Instructions. So. Self-sealing bags. I like that. One of those nasty staples. Let's just start right here with fuselage. Zoom in, not out. And we do have some nice crisp panel line and raised rivet detail. Recessed panel lines, raised rivets. Wow. Nice. Almost one piece elevators. Looks like you got flaps, ailerons, and we got the instrument combing. All right, so you got to look at that. Like I said. Rivets raised right all along there. And one more light. Beautiful recessed access panels. Curves all the way around. So the raised rivets are all the way. Down along there, some detail parts, flaps, there is the other side with the same level of raised and recessed detail all the way through. You see there's a notch out for trim tab, which is here. And why they away, but I'm sure they had a reason. A little bit of detail inside the fuselage, inside the gear doors. There are no ejector pin marks. And then the elevators, this section is going to go in there. Eliminate the back seam, but just have a front one to look at. And let's check out the wings next. So 
So the wing sprue has got your fuel tank, cockpit tub, nose landing gear bay, and looks like your main landing gear bays, and some pylons and some instrument panels. And again, raised and recessed detail. Same on the fuel tanks. Raised and recessed. All this really nice raised detail. And recessed. Your ejector seats. Front landing gear bay, cockpit tub with nice raised throttles and switches, and main landing gear bay. This is going to be the top of the wings. You see, you've got posable flaps, some more pylons. Pylons? Yep, pylons. There's your instrument panels. Another main gear bay, bottom of the wing, and then your fuel tank with raised detail, recessed back here. And I think these right here are going to be your vortex generators. Under the wing, all recessed ejector pins. Might need a little sand to get a little bit off of there. Same here. Alright, nice. This one's your matching screws. So we'll take one out. we get one out. Oh, stuck together so we get two out. Only look at one. So your weight on wheels. The rest of your parts for your ejector seats, prop, spinner, there's no engine detail as far as I can tell, parts for your pylons, parts for your landing gear, I'm guessing these are more fuel tanks, inside these landing gear bay doors are, are no injector pin. Look at that. Look at your nice wheels. They are in halves, but you can see the weight on wheels. Prop looks good. No seam, no flash. Spinner nose. Again, nice. Here's the other side of those doors. You can see no ejector pin marks. These doors do have ejector pin marks inside of them. But they look like they'll be easy to clean up. Alright, like I said, two of those, and the last sprue is your landing gear struts, front wheel, there are no weapons in this kit, just fuel tanks. Front wheel's got a nice weight on it too, there's your landing gear struts. I'm thinking those are engine intakes, your oleos and stuff for your engine, or sorry, landing gear, antennas, windshield wiper, that's interesting, I've never seen a one like that, some antennas, we want to drill out these lightning holes in here, I don't see a burr line on the landing gear legs, there, weight on wheels for your front wheel. Um, 
this is covering up that hole in the back of the lower wing. Not sure what that was for. One of the bays. These engine vents, you see they're hollowed out. Nice detail where they're molded. Here's your tiny parts, your antennas. Yes, it is that. Looks like a windshield wiper. More antennas, struts. There's one I said you can drill at those lightning holes. Looks good on both sides. Alright, and then we've got clear parts. This one, Kitty Hawk. They should be great. Not too thick. Raised for framing, so you can tape it off really well. There's lights in there. Very nice as well. Let's see. I got this right here. So, see, no real distortion. side yeah. curve around very wonderful clear parts these right back in the bag always protect your clear parts we've got a bag with instructions and I'm assuming decals and there's a little bit of photo etch Looks like harness for the seat and a few other things including some vents. Not very thick, not too thin. It's your basic nice photo etch. Alright. So looks like it's just a small decal seat from Cartograph, including a warthog face. Not a lot of stencils, thank goodness. But they look really nice. You have to wrap the warthog around, of course. Your usual setting solutions should make that a snap. There's some more about the aircraft. And there are your color callouts. Ammo Vallejo. Mr. Color, Tamiya, and Humbrol. And there's your sprue map. And your parts code. And your aftermarket services card in case something goes wrong. And, of course, you start with the seats. Move into the cockpit. This is talking about your coloring for the cockpit. And ammo MiG-25. So it gives you... FS colors, but only a few does give you the actual color, which I don't like. I like at least this color. Then you're going to have to drill some holes out in the wings. And looks like drill some holes out in the fuselage. Optional. This is optional right there. Okay. And the front landing gear bay attaches to the bottom of the cockpit tub. Side panels for your cockpit. A couple little windows, maybe. Fuselage has halves. Fuselage halves together. Wing halves together with the main landing gear bay. Unfortunately, you don't have to put the landing gear in before you do it. Put some pylons on. And then you're going to move on to the exact same thing for the other wing. On this side. So, of course, two wings. Put the wings on. Put the cover over the back. Your instrument combing in. A little bit of PE. And... I'm guessing these are parts for the flaps, right here. Then you're going to put your landing gear on, which of course most of us will wait until after we get it painted to do that. But, fortunately, you don't have to do it before you paint it. 
And you're landing your doors, which again, you'll probably, well, you'll probably paint them. I don't know if you'll attach them. Because I don't think you can close them and tape them into place and paint them, so you'll probably have to paint them separately. Flaps look like they can only be in the down position, but I bet you just cut off these parts and you can put them in the up position. These little tabs there. And then more antennas, more PE. There's that venting we showed you that was open. Actually, that's not venting. It looks like they're gun shell casing chutes. So, my mistake. Chutes for releasing the shells. Empty shell casings. There's some PE that goes on your canopy frame. There's your HUD going in your canopy frame, your props going on, which of course you're going to paint separately. There's that windshield wiper I was talking about. And there's some PE, I'm guessing static dischargers for the end of the wings and the tail. And then putting your pylons and your small tanks and your large tanks together. Putting your load out on there. So if you have the weapons that are appropriate, you do have the racks. So if you do have weapons, there is your painting guide. It can't say color call out because it's not. And there's your, it's only going with ammo big colors, but you can substitute. I won't be doing that one. I'm going to do the one with the warthog face. Uruguayan Air Force. Because, you know, warthog face, shark face, it's all good to me. And that's it. There you have it. Beautiful new tool Caro I'm thinking I like it I like the look of it that may be my next build after I finish the DO 17 so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it hope you learned something from it hope you're sitting your ass at your bench and building some models bye for now